What's good with you two? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new banger video for you guys today. This one dropped today. This is the first time I am reacting to a Mr. Beast video the same day it drops, okay? I enjoy Mr. Beast content, but I am always missing the drop. This one is called Protect $500,000. Keep it. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I've seen an episode where he has used tanks and stuff before to protect their Lamborghini, but money i don't know if i've seen him i think i did see an episode two where they protected they, they had to protect a safe that had money in it let's see what happens in this one the original video will always be in the description down below and while you guys are down there if you like to follow me on my other channel i am posting content over there as well mr beast content is always very interesting no wonder i, I mean shit, he's the biggest creator in the world at this point like his shit is fire, okay, to say the least. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on as well. That way you do not miss any of these uploads. And let's dive right into protecting this 500K, baby. Let's go. These five tanks are literally about to rain missiles upon this $500,000. Okay, and any money okay. that doesn't get destroyed, I'm giving to Blake. Wait, so the well, five hundred. Wait, so the so the five hundred thousand is just gonna sit there on the table in the open. I mean, that's kind of. I'm gonna give you my credit. <laughs> rest in peace. And you can spend as much money as you want trying to protect this money from all of the missiles we're okay. gonna be launching at your money budget. <laughs> it's gotta be crazy to just take Mr. Beast's want, credit card. It, like he has so much money, he's giving a random person go, his right? credit card. Let's like what? Oh, he's running. We're kicking this off with a sprint. All right, Blake. Where are we going to first? Think in the junkyard. Blake's first three hours consisted of sourcing any metal he could find to protect his money. I mean, this looks like they have metal. Even if that meant spending $30,000. Definitely want that, want that, all the trucks. Basically, you just want every car here. Yeah. Can you give me any of your shipping containers? Go look out Yeah, this is good. I feel like those will work well if I put them on top of the money. And as if buying out the entire store wasn't enough, Blake did the same thing at two other industrial stores. So everything I get from you today, I would need within the next 12 hours. 12 hours? I, I... I'm willing to pay double. Okay, we'll get it. He's very quick to throw my money around. <laughs> <laughs> and while we waited for the to pay to be delivered, we headed back to the money and Blake laid out his official plan. You just spent the last hour strategizing. What did you come up with to stop the tanks from destroying your money? Step one, I want to put a shipping container over the money. That is actually genius. Step two, giant water tank. Do you think that's your best defense? I think it's good, but it's not the best. Step three is containers filled with brick, hay, and wood. Step four is my best defense, a fortress of strategically angled cars. From the last video that I saw, those bullets are going to hit those cars and ricochet <laughs> elsewhere. See, yeah, I, I thought I reacted to another video here, like that. I will be flabbergasted. Let's get to work. And I would be stacking the cars on top Blake, of each other, to be honest. It wouldn't be for another four hours until his materials were delivered. So he hired some construction workers to help get the job done. I'm building a complete fortress. You drop the atomic bomb on this thing. The money's not going anywhere. This is like an industrial construction site. It started to look this like this be such a fun a experience, bro, to do shit like but this. But even if like, the 500 grand survives those tanks, I would get off the, the video game for a week to go do something like four this. Four phases of attack. <laughs> I really would. <laughs> and believe me when I say this, they're gonna get much more challenging. For the rest of the night, Blake and his crew worked tirelessly to defend the money. But by the time the sun rose, they still weren't quite done. Looking good. Looking good. That's the money. The tanks are over there. What is this car here for? This is like my inventory back here, dude. Put your inventory between the money and the tank. Give me 10 minutes and that white car will be right I here. mean, you have five minutes. <laughs> ah! I don't think I even have time to do anything else. Time is up. Stop, stop, time is up. Drop it, drop it right there. Go far away. Blake, time is officially ended. Seems pretty sturdy. Let's go fire some tanks. I've been up for about 25 <laughs> hours now, just building and building and building. I mean, I'm looking at it now and it looks great, but then I turn around and I see these five beasts and then I see these shells that they're working with. Bro, I imagine that. having so much motherfucking money. You got five tanks in your possession, bro. Like, what? They're gonna be that big. You think How the fuck do you just rent a tank? Back? Hopefully three of them are. <laughs> oh, man. Like, that shit right, makes no time. sense to Pull me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these five tanks pointed at your money are about to fire 20 rounds. Blake, fire the first shot. There's so much dust. Oh my gosh, look at his face. Look at Blake's face. No way his money's safe. So only 19 more, right? 19 more to go. Chandler, fire! Ah! Mm. Oh! They smacking the bread, bro. 
They smacking the bread, bro. This is way too much fun. Oh my god, bro. All the way back here, I can count eight holes in that shipping container. Yeah, I, I see those holes. No shot, his money's safe. I'd ask you how you're feeling. But also, oh, one thing one thing uh, I'm kind of curious about right now is, are the, I, I obviously don't know anything about military, you know, tanks and weapons and shit like that. I mean, I know weapons because Call of Duty, but like tanks. Um... They are these these are these these aren't real tanks that they use in in war, are they? Because these motherfuckers not even blowing up. Isn't the tank supposed to? Isn't the missile supposed to go and then at, and then just like a giant explosion? Like they're pulling a a, a plug and it, and and it's shooting a missile, but it's I don't see no crazy explosion. So let me know in the comment section down below if you're a person that knows that or understands that. I'm pretty sure that this is not a tank that they would use in war. I mean, I could be wrong, but let me know. We'll fire the last few shots. Let's just get this over with. Five shots. No. Four shots remain. Three shots remain. How much money do you have back there? Uh, I think like half. Two remain. And of course, Blake, you have to fire the last shell. The honor is mine. After this, we'll see if you have any money left. Let's go. Oh, he's running. He's so fast! Is there any money? Hey, it's still there! Yes! Blake, it looked <laughs> like your money we survived! We got a fresh stack! I know you're happy, but we're gonna move on to phase two of four. And in 24 hours, we're gonna blow up the biggest bomb we've ever detonated in the history of our channel around your money. Are you gonna drop it? Are you gonna shoot it? I'm glad you asked. I'll be right back. Blake, what do you think's <laughs> in those green crates? I don't know TNT. Dude, looks like. Here, I'll answer it for you. This is a hundred crates filled to the brim with TNT. How are you even allowed to do that? I'm not sure it's legal. And while we prepare one of the biggest <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, can you just history, do shit Blake like this? To strategize on how to keep his money. I mean, Mr. Beast so rich, like everything flammable. I'm not gonna talk about Illuminati and all that, but Mr. Beast so rich, the government probably like you can do whatever the fuck you want. If you want to blow up a city, blow up a city. You know what I mean? Like. Out of here. Man, hey, what has got to go? Plus, he white too. That helps. Step three. That helps a lot. Containers that I got. I just want to close them in into the other ship container. So then, step four is just walls, cement, bricks, cars. If I have to. The explosion is a lot worse than the tanks. This is bigger than that safe that blew up. Yes. Every single thing inside of that destroyed. <laughs> the first time he lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars in this video. We gonna repeat it. No. With phase two commencing in just 18 hours, Blake gave the workers he hired a life-changing speech. Gentlemen, we survived day one. Yeah! yeah give it up. Come on. Woo! You were good, you were great, but there's still $500,000 back there. So let's get to work! Let's do it! Let's go! Yeah! 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 And because at this point, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours, he trusted the construction workers to finish the job while he got a good night's rest. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. This is Blake going dark. And because he was so exhausted, Blake slept for way longer than he planned. All right, I got a good night's sleep. I'm about to find out how much progress was really done overnight. Like half? Empty. That means nothing has happened since I've been gone. Yeah, that's no good. Let's see what it looks like over here. Even after his inspiring speech, the workers that Blake hired didn't get much of his plan done. And with only six hours mm -hmm. remaining, Blake did what he could by covering his weak spots with spare parts, bricks, and more cars. <laughs> Damn, so I, I mean, he, 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 the workers got their money, but they, they were slacking. <laughs> real good. Oh, Mr. Jimmy! What am I about to witness? If you listen close, you can hear beeping. It's actually a school bus coming, and it's gonna be plopped right where you're standing. I assume it's not full of children. It's a short bus. That is just not what I asked. <laughs> brand new Feastables bar, new flavor, new branding. You wanna try it, Blake? Yeah. I'm using our snack products to distract them from telling them where to put the bus. Dude, honestly, this is better than all the other ones. All the other ones. <laughs> I promise. Anyone want a piece of chocolate? Oh! Oh! Did you get that? Damn, he caught that shit. Hey, Blake, five minutes till boom. I need 10 more minutes. Just give me five extra minutes. You have four minutes. Bro, you're spraying them with water. Probably feels good. I don't think they agree. They're literally getting off the car. They've got 90 seconds left. Blake, you're running out of time. Go, go, come on, come on. Hey, 
It's five o'clock. Stop, stop, stop. Turn it off. Turn it off. Hey, hey, play. Turn it off or I start taking money. Uh. Let's go over to the bunker. You mm -hmm. narrowly escaped death from the tanks. Let's see if you can do it again. Let the sun go down so it's a little darker now. This is the biggest bomb we've ever set off. Yeah, this is the first bomb I've ever seen. <laughs> Blake, are you nervous? Yeah, I would be I'm, scared I'm, as hell, boy. This is the detonation device. Here you go. It's live? Yes, it's live. Uh, Two days <laughs> He said it's live. 17 <laughs> cars, six water jugs, four shipping containers, $500,000 on the line. Let's find out if you're going home rich or with nothing. When you're ready, Blake. Three, two, one. Mom, I love you. Oh, rest in peace to that money, bro. There's no fucking way. No way. No way. You're going to have to wait for the fire, like the smoke, all that. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. That fire sword is massive. Go put that out. Before we go put it out, I'm just wasting time. Run! Whoa, 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 whoa! Have the fire surge, go! Go, go, go! Let's go see if it burns! Oh, no. Oh, it's on fire over there. No. Oh, be careful, this... Ah! Get off my money! The fire's still going on up front. Blake is moving sandbags. This has got to be dangerous. <laughs> like, this has got to be dangerous, my nigga. I see green! Oh my gosh! Yeah, baby! Yeah! I see a lot of dirt on it, but it seems to survive. Woo! I knew it! Blake, you've officially passed phase two of four. Do you want to see what the next challenge is? Yes. All right, Blake, for your third <laughs> challenge, we're going to be dropping flaming cars filled with gasoline on top of your money. Can you tell me how many cars? A lot. A lot? A lot. This is going to be the hardest phase yet. Blake will not only have to deflect the attack from the sky, but he'll also have to protect his money from the flammable gasoline seeping through the cracks of his defense. Oh, hey, and after and the uh, cars, I have another surprise. Good luck. I want the crate with the money in it to be stuffed with concrete. That shipping container that's just sitting, plop that on top of the money. Since Blake had been working so hard for the past few days, he ended up going right to sleep and saved most of his work for the next day. And although he seemed confident, this challenge would soon prove itself to be more difficult than anything he's ever faced in these Damn. videos. This is day four. I'm feeling like a zombie. We're gonna take the other shipping container that I have. We're gonna pick that up and we're gonna put it in a formation to where the point is facing up, so it's like a pyramid. And the cars will hit it, doom and fall, but not on the money. We gotta get that shipping container on top as soon as possible. It's starting to worry me a little bit. Over the next few hours, Blake did everything in his power to place the top shipping container at an angle to deflect the cars, even if that meant using wooden logs to prop it up. If this container does not go exactly where I want to right now, I'm probably losing a lot of money. We did it! Oh, that makes me feel really good. The water tank, we bring that over to like right here. Fill that thing with bricks. And then we're gonna take the last car we got, put it right here. That's gonna block all this, it's gonna look great. We got a plan, baby. But what Blake didn't know is I was about to introduce a twist. Do you wanna know what the twist is? Yeah. Follow me. See that flag over there? That's a catapult. So as cars fall from the top, giant flaming balls are gonna be hurled from the side. <laughs> yeah, millions of things I never thought catapult. I have like no more materials. I have nothing else to use. Throughout the final hour, Blake raced to cover the weak spots of his fortress. However, there was still a key part missing. His water truck, which he sent to refill in the morning, was painfully late. He has 90 seconds left. All right, here we go. As always, it comes down to the wire with Blake. 60, 59, 58, 54. He's drenching everything in water before we drop the cars to try to protect his money from the fire. 30 seconds remain. You really think this is gonna stop the fire? Oh yeah, baby. Three, two, one, drop it! <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, I'm not showing mercy on the last one. You knew that was gonna happen, That was intentional. <laughs> oh man, moment of truth. <laughs> He said he's not showing mercy. Is. This is only the first of five flaming cars we're going to be dropping. On top of the five flaming death balls Damn, from the catapult. Bro. You ready, Blake? Let's get this, this going, is hectic. Dude. Why ah! Oh, shit! Now drop it! Rest in peace to the money! Oh! oh. oh. 
Wow! Hold on, everything's actually setting on fire right now. The burning car successfully rolled off the container. However, the wood that Blake used to prop it up quickly engulfed in flames. Dude, what's going on? What is happening? That's tough. That's what one car, there? my nigga. It's on fire, Blake. I don't, I, I, I don't even know what to what, say. All right, right, what was on top of the shipping container? All right, there is wood there. Let's not jinx it. Knock on wood. <laughs> what? wood? I, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't even think about that when he did that shit. Oh, hell no. Nah. Concrete. I thought she was going to use cars? concrete. I needed to use them, dude. Luckily, Blake did surround his money with cinder blocks. So there's still a very high likelihood his money is unburned. And since we're about to go into the coolest part of this video, obviously now I'm going to tell you about Acorns. Their debit card is meant to help you grow your money, not just spend it, which I'll tell you more about in a second. Fire! Acorns just launched the new Mighty Oaks <laughs> debit card that they made with Dwayne Johnson. The cool thing about this debit card is every time you make a purchase, it automatically rounds up to the nearest dollar and invests the difference for you. Believe it or not, your money is also under attack. Not by giant flaming death balls, but by things like bills, spending, and inflation. Of course. And when you're not spending, your money will be hard at work in two of the highest APYs available. Chandler, what does APYs mean? It means you can fight back against bills and inflation by growing your money just by having Damn, your money. Damn, that car is sitting on top too right, right there, boy. I'm remembering what it feels like to lose one of these things. Whoa. Oh, it's Look a direct that. hit. Oh, right on the <laughs> Direct hit is up, crazy. Acorns and I are giving you $20 <laughs> to start growing your money. So go to acorns.com slash MrBeast to learn how you can make your money. Man, Mr. Beast has to get millions per, per promotion or per ad. Drop it. Like... The rain of fire continued all throughout the night. And as the flames only grew bigger, things sadly started to look really bleak for Blake's money. No, no, no. That fire was raging for over an hour and a half. It's either all gonna be there or it's not gonna be there at all. That right there is a bunch of logs of wood. He accidentally created a giant bonfire. <laughs> he thought he was making a fortress, but he was actually making a furnace. I mean, there's still a chance the concrete protected the money. Blake, moment of truth. Did the cinder blocks protect your money? Or was the fire just too much? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh. Oh, those are ruined. Wait, hold up. The money is fried. Yep, it's over with. It's a thousand degrees in there. Let's be real with ourselves, Blake. It's gone. <sighs> As you saw, most of the money looks like this. Another loss. Yeah, this one hurts more than the laser one. What hurts the most is that work so hard for nothing. Damn. The challenge is officially over. And before you go, Blake, I have an offer for you. You have two choices. You can either walk away with $100,000 or you can get a third and final chance to compete in a future video. All right, I'm coming back. You're coming back? I'm coming back. Oh, hell no. I would have took that 100K. Oh, okay. Blake's final chance to be in a video is going to be right here, but it won't be uploaded until February. I don't think me it's and the February. audience okay. can bear to see you lose a third time. I'll see you then. Damn. So, Mr. B. So, okay, okay. So, Mr. Beast begin his content done like. He be getting his content done way early in advance. I, I know he be tired, bro. He be doing this shit all day, every day. Like, damn. Another banger video as well, but I thought I thought his money had a chance even in phase three, but apparently the wood didn't help. It burned all the money. That shit crazy. I would have took that 100K though. Like, fuck it. I can then make some small investments and we gonna grow the honey K. Like, and I gotta wait a whole nother month <laughs> just, just to have another chance. I don't know if I can wait that long. I'm a little impatient, okay? Original video always be in the description down below while you guys are down there. If you like to follow me on my other channel, I am doing content over there as well, man. I appreciate you guys for the support as always, baby. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. We are out. Peace.